A ball, a simple, spherical object that has been a source of joy, frustration, and scientific exploration for centuries. From the playground to the laboratory, balls have captivated us with their ability to bounce, roll, and spin. But why does a ball bounce? Let's dive into the physics behind this fascinating phenomenon. When a ball is dropped, it initially accelerates due to the force of gravity. However, upon hitting a surface, something miraculous happens. The ball compresses slightly, storing potential energy. Upon rebound, this energy gets converted into kinetic energy, causing the ball to bounce back up. The amount a ball bounces depends on its weight, the type of surface it hits, and its own elasticity. A heavier ball or a softer surface will result in a lower bounce, while a lighter ball or a harder surface will cause a higher bounce. The elasticity of a ball is determined by its material. Rubber balls, for instance, have a high elasticity, making them ideal for games like basketball and volleyball. On the other hand, a leather ball used in football or soccer is less elastic and bounces less. Ball's bouncing property has numerous applications. In sports, the bounciness of a ball is crucial for fair play. In science, understanding ball's bouncing behavior helps in studying materials' properties and the principles of energy conversion. Moreover, the bouncing ball is also used in various scientific experiments. One famous example is Galileo's experiment where he dropped two balls of different masses from the Leaning Tower of Pisa to demonstrate that all objects, regardless of their mass, fall at the same rate in a vacuum. So next time you see a ball bouncing, remember it's not just a simple toy, but a scientific marvel that has provided us with valuable insights into the laws of motion and energy conversion. Enjoy the bounce!